Now we're going to examine the negation and language pseudo selectors. Let's first take a look at the negation pseudo selector, or you can refer to it as the not selector. Now this selector is used to exclude elements that would be in an otherwise full selection. So normally if we just put H2 here, it's going to select all H2 elements in the document. But if you use the not pseudo selector, you can specify what type of elements to not select. So I have three H2 elements and the one in the middle has a class of class one. You can see that is the type of element that I'm excluding from the selection. So let's see what happens. All the H2 elements, except for the one that was excluded, are selected and styled. So those are the occasions when you use the negation pseudo selector. Now we can take this and pretty much reverse the logic to say select all class 1 but not H2 elements. So we have an H1, an H2, and an H3. And they all have class 1. So normally they would all be selected, but we're saying not the H2 element. So you see? The H2 element is not selected. Now let's examine the language pseudo selector. This one is used to target an element that has the language of the specified type. So you can see we have language Espanol here. Actually, let me take this and put language EN for the other two. So now we have two paragraph elements that are English and two paragraph elements that are in Spanish language. See what that renders? And we get the targeting and styling of only the Spanish language. It's because we're using the language pseudo selector and targeting that specific language. If we change this to EN, English, for instance, the English paragraphs will be styled and targeted. And if you want to be more specific, you can just put P. And that will only target P elements that have the language of English. Or if you don't want to be that specific, you can just use the universal selector. And that covers the negation and language pseudo-selectors.